Okay. I love you so much. Mm. I appreciate you. Yes. I think you're a great husband. Thank you. And Welcome back to another video. I am Mel. And I'm Shane. And together we are Mel, Mel and Shane. Shane. So guys, as you can see from the title down below, we are going to talk about love languages. Love languages. Yes. Five love languages. And the importance of the love languages in relationships. Yes. Right? Awesome. So guys, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post video every Sunday at 6 p.m. So keep your eyes over here yeah, all right so guys love languages yeah. is something that a lot of people don't talk about especially right. when you're entering in a relationship. relationship i know some people are like what is that yeah um, should i introduce where it came from yeah you can go ahead so well the five love languages are originally um it, it's a book written by Gary Chapman mm -hmm. and in the book he talks about five main ways that people connect in the area of love mm -hmm. ways that they receive love and also how they give love um, and so that there are five five attributes right yeah there are five attributes or five love languages mm -hmm. but before we jump into it I want to talk about uh, when was the first time you actually learn about these love languages and did you feel any of these reciprocated to you when you were younger or as an adult? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I learned about it from when the book came out, what, 1996? 1992. Like, 92, right? Yeah. Well, later on in life, I learned about it, mm -hmm. the, um, that book. Um, but from that material, it offered me the opportunity to take a test yeah um, and that test basically helped you to identify what my love languages were so yeah. um, from that I was able to see that for me my love language is quality time and words of affirmation right and so spending quality time with, with when somebody goes out of their way to spend quality time with me that's a main way that I receive love and that also mm -hmm. words of affirmation you know being encouraged by others as well is big and so from a younger child growing up yeah you know those things I could when I look back now I could see how yeah that definitely was for me the ways that I received love and like prefer to receive it as well too um, then, then the other ones, which we'll get into the other ones too. Right. So let's just jump into the, what the love languages are before we go any further. Right. So we have quality time, physical touch, act of, act of service, yeah, receiving, like, gifts. receiving gifts, mm -hmm. and words of affirmation. So quality time, physical touch, receiving gifts, acts of service, service and words of affirmation. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I feel like for me, growing up in the Caribbean, I'm a Jamaican by birth, uh, I feel like this was not a topic that we explored back home. When I met you, you asked me what were my love languages, but I didn't tell you this. I went to Google and looked it up real quick, like, what is he talking about? And then I saw all of it, and then they gave you like the definition. I was like, okay, I can, some of these resonate with me. And I feel like uh, physical touch is definitely mine. Mm -hmm. Words of affirmation, uh, acts of service. I love those three. Those things. And we're gonna go into it deeper, guys. So uh, we'll come back on how culture kind of plays a role in these love languages, and oh, sometimes we don't know these things because culturally, it was not something that was taught to us especially 
as a Caribbean girl, especially in Jamaica, where we get tough love. It's not that our parents don't love us, but we get tough love. Yeah. But they still give us a gift. Sometimes they'll cuss you out, they curse you out. So words of affirmation wouldn't be something that most person uh, felt, yeah. uh, you know, growing up. Yeah. But you know, they show love in a different way. And we're gonna talk a little bit about oh, these five love languages play a big role in relationship. In, in relationship. So it says for quality time. Do you wanna read quality yeah. time? So quality time is about spending time together, enjoying each other's company. People who need quality time alone, uh, they crave alone time with their, their loved one mm -hmm. and want to catch up with them by having time alone where they can talk and bond. You need alone time if you find yourself constantly desiring to be with someone, not just hearing from them mm -hmm. or writing to them. You do not feel satisfied or happy unless you can be with the person or the people you love. So, so that's quality time. Yeah, so let's take a pin on that. It touched on some very um, interesting things. And uh, for me, as I said, quality time is one of my uh, biggest love language. I love spending time with Shane. And I feel like that if I look deeper as to where that need to be with him so much come from, I'd have to go all the way back to like growing up it was I lonely did I feel like I need uh, more companionship stuff like those and I had all of that but in terms of relationship that's something that I feel like I need to get closer to the person growing up I was I am and I'm still I am still very close to my siblings but you know as everybody get, got older and move on to different places you become lonely again as a, um, yeah. I was a, the youngest girl in the old soul and I just yeah. start being the bigger sister now because big brother left, big sister left and then my little brother was there. Yeah. So, you know, there was this craving for me to just spend quality time with people and especially in relationship. And like I touched on before, it, it, it for me helps me to understand you more, yeah. to grow with you and to kind of just see who he is. Right. Yeah. It's big. Yeah. yeah. Same thing for me, just being able to connect with you and just talk, you yeah. know, have that bond, increase that bond. Yeah. There was something here that I wanted to point out. You need al alone time if you find yourself constantly desiring to be with someone, not just hearing from them or writing to them. You do not feel satisfied or happy unless you can be with a person or the people you love. So nothing is wrong with that, but also you have to make sure that you can spend some time to grow yourself yeah. alone, you know? Don't just depend on this one person, on person yeah. for happiness. So I, oh, quality time plays a role in a relationship. I would say that it really just forms a bond right. and it, it, it creates a, a space for you to learn more about your partner. Yes. And, um, and grow. Yeah, and grow. Yeah, especially when kids are in the picture. Right. Quality time is gonna be very important, and that's something that we we're talking about today. Because in a relationship, when you're not spending that much time with your partner, you can grow apart. Right. Yeah. You do that. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'm gonna read what physical touch is. So it says physical touch. So that's the next one. So what we'll touch on quality time. So the next love language is physical touch. Physical touch is showing love through hugging, cuddling, being intimate, or simply putting a caring hand on someone's shoulder. Nice. <laughs> uh, people who need physical touch want you to hug them. They want cuddle time and they also show, or show public display of affection to feel that you love them and to demonstrate your love for those they care about. Uh, mm -hmm. what, what do you think about that? Read some more? Mm -hmm. You need physical touch if you feel you need physical touch if you feel lonely and lost when you have not been physically near a loved one. You constantly crave to be close to those you care about and you demonstrate your love for them with hugs, massage and even sitting close to each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. What, what did I feel like they go uh, physical touch kind of go hand in hand with quality time. In a sense. Because it's need to be around the person. Yeah, but it's more the touch part too, like you know, just embracing the hug. Yeah. Feeling that the warmth and love of yeah. your loved ones and friends, those kind of things in relationships. Yeah. You know. And as they go into like marriage, get more serious where you can be yeah, more intimate, intimate with yeah. the person. Yeah. You know, physical touch um really kind of brings about this closeness yeah, where connection, connection yeah. yeah and uh nothing is wrong with hugging even a friend you yeah. know i embrace can change a whole lot that's why you have a lot of press free hugs yeah. you know yeah uh i mean cuddling we're not gonna touch on cuddling for like courting relationship but yeah. in marriage mm. Cuddling also builds intimacy. Right. So I feel like physical touch really plays a big role in intimacy, yes. Yes. where intimacy is concerned. Right. All right, so All right, cool. the next one. All right, receiving gifts. The love language of gifts does not require large or extravagantly expensive gifts. It can be notes, CDs, flowers, or leaving a pastry. Mm. These small gifts are tokens of love to the giver or receiver. People who need gifts feel validated when you spend money and or time picking something out for them. Yeah. Often the saying, it's the thought that counts really applies here. Mm. You need gifts if you think or wait anxiously for holidays or, or birthdays to see what your loved ones might get you. Gifts are usually a big test in relationships for people who speak the love languages or the love language of gifts. Mm. So, mm. Yeah. I like receiving gifts, but it's not number one on my list yeah. um, in regards to love language. Yeah. I know a lot of persons that's th their top um, love language. There's receiving gifts. And nothing is wrong with that. Nothing is, is wrong with that. A lot of persons feel more appreciated when you, you think about them and get them something to show them that you're thinking right. about them right from time to time we do we, you do shane is a, a, a giver of gifts from we were courting he was always just bringing very sentimental gifts you know gifts that would help me grow gifts that would put a smile on my face and he gives me flowers yeah. chocolate sometimes brings card so he's more it, oh, between both of us you would say that you are more um, um, the gift giver. The gift giver. Yeah, I believe so. But you know, in terms of in a relationship now, friendship, marriage, courting, you know, gifts are important from time to time to show your partner that you're thinking Think about, about them. them. Yeah. And a very cute gift I think is if you're learn you learn something about your partner, you and they share something that they like. Yeah. You can go get it for them as a way of showing them that you are listening. Right. So I love those kind of things, but you don't want it to be, um, I think where gi gifts are concerned, you don't want that to be like the only thing that you look forward to in your relationship. Right, right. You know? You want no gold diggers. Yeah, <laughs> right. So you, you want to like balance it because sometimes you can spoil people and then when you do not give them a gift one week. They get upset. Yeah. So you have to kind of just balance it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. So we touch on quality time, physical touch, receiving gifts. Now we're going to talk about acts of service. Ooh, acts of service. Is yes. it my turn to read? Yeah. Okay. Acts of service are acts, acts of love when someone performs an action for the other. This can be cleaning, cooking, driving, or even an errand. By doing that act of service, the other person feels love or shows love. People who need acts of service require, sometimes will ask their loved ones for favors or errands. Not because it's easier, but rather because they need the affirmation of the other person's love. The need acts of service, the, you need acts of service if you feel unwanted or unimportant if someone does not uh, follow through on a promise or if someone doesn't do something you ask well service. yeah i feel like this this if this one goes both ways mm -hmm. because a person um having a request mm -hmm. 
Yeah. They they want to feel like their partner can they can depend on their partner. Your partner right. And right. then you yeah, also have the partner that want to do stuff for you just to show that listen, I care about you. Right. Yeah. And especially in um, relationships, mm -hmm. I feel like this one's a big one. Yeah. Especially when kids are in the picture because we need the help, women, we need the extra help around the house. So we need yeah. the husband to like chime in and like, wash them dishes, wash the clean dishes. the bathroom. Yeah, man. You know, those kind of things. Yeah. But I really like this one because it shows love. Uh, it's both ways. Yeah. It, yeah. It makes the both person feel love. Right. Yeah. Like what, what 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 else do you think about this? I one? think um, acts of service is 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 big because, it, like I said, it allows the other person to know that you're thinking, you know, about them to the point where, if it's something that they would usually do, sometimes the person may feel tired mm -hmm. or just, you know, may even be sick, and to to know that you're actually doing stuff to serve them, oh, yes. to help around is you know goes a long way so you know acts of service is a really big big love language I think for yeah. some people yeah I would say um, what do you think do you think out of all five it top um, any of the others or they all work together well they all work together I think some people just have their their what they prefer like the the preferences yeah um, and, and it's interesting because as we're going through these five love languages I'm sure some are wondering, like, you know, what, what's my love language? And, yeah. you know, we're going to tell you at the end that way that you can figure out what yours is as well. Yes. All right. So we're going to do the last one. And that is... Words of affirmation. So yeah. words of affirmation are verbal clues for others to express how much they love and care about someone. Words of affirmation also can be compliments and reassurances that affirm inner love in an outer way, mm -hmm. encouraging. People who need words of affirmation need to hear from the people they, have, they love frequently and to feel loved. Mm. They need to hear out loud what the other person is thinking. You need words of affirmation if you find yourself constantly needing to hear from your loved one to get reassurances from them. People who want words of affirmation but also fish for compliments because mm. this is the way that they feel most love. So words of affirmation is being being affirmed, you know, being yeah. encouraged by by others. And you know, for me, I love that. I love um, being encouraged by others. I consider myself somebody who's always giving words of affirmation yeah. to other people too. So it feels good to receive that back yeah. as well too. Yeah. yeah. Definitely love words of affirmation. Yeah, to be encouraged. Yeah, yeah, to be enc be encouraged and also just you know hearing the person that you love, you know, compliments you or affirm that they still feel strongly about you, mm -hmm. you know. And the, oh, the beautiful thing about what I love about the five love languages is that it can be applied anywhere. Yeah, it can be applied in the workplace in your relationship like a uh, husband and wife boyfriend and girlfriend courting whatever relationship and it, it is important it can be applied in your uh, relationship generally with your kids family members you know it, it's, it, it, it really goes across the board and what the Holy Spirit just um, brought to me was that even in your relationship with God yeah it's a powerful um, way to start out trying to understand yeah. what's your love language. Right. Because for me, I love confirmation. I love words of affirmation. I want God to send to affirm me that yeah. you know, and he, he does in His Word, yeah. right? Yeah. So there, I know that I am wonderfully made. You yeah. know, yeah. I know that um, I'm a child of God. Yeah. I know that I'm loved by God because yeah. of that on the cross. My sins. So yeah. stuff like those. Um, our yeah. words of affirmation where God is concerned so I feel like if you're trying to find that out yeah start there like ask God to like help you with your love language and start build that relationship with him and you know yeah see. where you receive your affirmation ultimately from him right and that'll enable you to affirm others around you as well too. yeah so do you want to share um, where they can like also 
uh, find where what are their love languages? Yeah, so what you can do, you can go to fivelovelanguages.com um, and then they have uh, a test that you can do where you answer some questions. Mm -hmm. It's not long at all and then at the end of it, it'll show you your results yeah. and see what your love languages are, yeah. you know, based on your personality and who you are as a person. And I also recommend getting the book by Gary Chapman. You know, they have the Five Love Languages book. And, you know, they, ha they have uh, spin-offs for more specifics regarding where you may be. If you're married, they may have Five Love Languages for, 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 for marriage or for, for children. For wherever you, wherever you may be, you know, you can do the research. They have a lot of different genres that you can explore the Five Love Languages in. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. So yeah, guys, definitely explore um, these love languages. Yeah. And uh, ask somebody, what are your love language? Build some conversation around yeah. that and just get to know the people that you are spending time with more. Yeah. So I'm going to affirm you. Okay. I love you so much. I appreciate you. Yes. I think you're a great husband. Thank you. And I mm. love everything about you and who you are. Nice. Yeah. Well, I love you as well. You're gorgeous. <laughs> I have the best supermodel in the world. You know, um, you are just very caring, loving, and I'm just happy to have you by my side. Yes. Thank you for sharing that. So, guys. Thank you so much for watching our video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And comment down below what's your love language. Yeah, we'd love yeah, to know. We'd love to know. And we can have a conversation around that. Yes. And we'll definitely put our email if you need to contact us about any question yeah. related to our videos. And guys, we'll catch you in our next video. Peace. Bye.